Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success. Who still uses notebooks, filing cabinets? You can be honest. Like, it's okay. Oh, if you have a filing cabinet and you open it up and it's like A to Z, you've got all your folders, all your files, you print everything. If your place burnt down, then what? Okay. Um, How do you share? How do you delegate? How do you deal with that stuff? So number two is online folders. Oh, Dropbox is the second thing. And how to use Dropbox, super important. The number one thing with Dropbox, I want you to think of Dropbox as your filing cabinet. And there are other things now, like iCloud has their own document folder. Amazon has one. Um, Again, it's like I like to use things that have been out for a little while, like they're not going anywhere. So I used Dropbox when it first came out. I think it was 2000 eight or nine. Um, and it was all, everything was free because they were in beta. It was new. They're trying it out. And so I did both. Like I had my notebooks, but then also started a Dropbox and the name to your files, just like you would on a manila folder, you got to treat Dropbox the exact same way. And it's so much easier to set it up on your computer there's just things that I do on the computer that I could never do on the phone. You just can't. I mean, you could figure it out, but by the time you waste time doing it, you could have spent two grand on a computer and like saved yourself all that time. And then you're just going to quit. So on the computer, the most important thing you're going to see here is the name. So I'm so OCD about our folders that I put two stars in front of the folder because I want it at the top. And then... Everything has a name. And then if I share a folder with a person, it tells me that. Now, you know that because you like, you see the little, ooh, you see the little three guys, like that tells you you share it. And there are like little things, like I've had clients take this class, they're like, okay, I got on Dropbox, but now I'm trying to share this and share that, but it won't go through. Like there are limitations. You just have to know and know how to use it. And it does take a little bit bit of transition and change. Um, But naming stuff is super, super, super important. Like that's the whole key to Dropbox. People are like, oh, I can't find my stuff. I'm like, that's because you save stuff from your phone to Dropbox. And then you, you can't find your files. You've got to tell it where to go, people. And Dropbox, they keep updating. And now, like, you can tell it where to go from your phone. You can pick a folder, a subfolder. You can name it right there, and it's done. It's awesome. So just to give you an example, like, here is a client that we're working on for next month. So pretty much every single client, you, know, you notice up here it's got their date, First name, last name, first name, last name, bride, groom, you know, whatever, or the project we're working on. Like, I have a folder for today's class for productivity. Um, Everything has a name. And so, like, her ceremony is, like, way over the top, so it gets its own folder. Dear Addies, lots of invitation stuff. We do save some emails. Disclosure, if you save your emails or drag them from your Mac mail to a folder in Dropbox, you can only access it on this machine. So be careful with that. The other way that you can do it is if you set up folders, and we're going to talk about this later too, if you're setting up folders right here, make sure you're doing it on the back end. So like my back end, some of this is run by G Suite, which is Google. Some of this is run by Network Solutions. If you create 
your folders right here, you're creating them locally. They're not going to sync. And if something happened to your computer, you would lose everything in your folders. So that's really, really important. So with Dropbox, everything you see in here is not being edited. I'm simply dropping it in there. And typically, it's for the client to see, and it's for us to organize all of our stuff. Um, Google Drive, I love it for editing and live edits. So, and again, I learned this the hard way maybe four or so years ago before I really got into Google Drive. I used Dropbox for everything. I shared everything. I had a client in a different country. She had the timeline open. Her mom had the timeline open. I had it open, and my assistant had it open. So four people on Dropbox had the timeline open. For eight or nine hours, we were on the phone because we are all in different spots, and we're all OCD about hitting save. Save, 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 save. So Dropbox got confused, and so we close the computer. I go to bed. I wake up. The shit's gone. <gasps> Everything was gone. Now, Dropbox, and then I'm Googling, and I'm trying to restore, and I mean, mm. and, and I just, you know, cry, cry, cry. I'm like, whoa. So then I, I was like, never doing that again. Now, they have come out with an update. I don't trust it still. So Google Drive is live editing, which I'm going to talk about that next. Um, so for Dropbox, I just simply drop and share, drop and share. I don't edit anything, rarely. But you notice... For the upgrade for this. Because well... Everyone can handle... Correct. The- so... I don't pay for Dropbox only because I was an early adopter. And every time you share Dropbox and they sign up for it, you get 250 megabytes of free space. So I have pretty much forced every vendor, every photographer, every person, not because I want the free space. It's because it's the most productive. Now they have smug mugs. So a lot of photographers share things that way, which we're going to talk about photos. But... Early on, I got so much free space because I was signing people up, signing people up. I mean, that wasn't my goal. It just happened that way. But yes, like if I had to pay $1,000 a year, done. Like I would invest in it. The way that you know how you have your space is... um, also, with Dropbox, make sure that you do ha- you download it onto your machines. Like, don't go to Dropbox.com. Yes, it can eat up a little bit of space on your machine, and yes, my machine gets full, but everything need- needs to live in the cloud. Um, but it's so much more easy to put the little thing on your computer, and then you've got all your folders here. If you go to your settings... So you see right here, I've used 7% of 1,061 gigabytes. I don't think I'll ever get full. No. Ever. And even if I did, I would still pay for it. Um, So you can pause syncing. This is very important. Your preferences, again, going back to preferences, you want to make, like, some people are like, Oh, I think I have Dropbox, but I don't know which email I used. Well, this is how you find out. Um, you can unlink things. I don't think you guys are have to worry about this, but a few important things about Dropbox is if you're using iCloud or something else to stream your photos and back them up, you do not need to back them up on Dropbox. That's just taking up space that you're probably going to end up having to pay for. So pick one. Pick one. Why would you not use iCloud? If you have an iPhone and Apple products, it automatically does it, but you have to set it up. So don't use it for photos. No. Not just set up my Dropbox. I didn't have one. you got to turn it off. all that. And uh-uh. Skip no, I have the best story. So when Dropbox did an update years and years ago, Um, It automatically would do your photos. And so my assistant at the time, who was great in a setting where she clocked in and out and worked in a cubicle, but then when she came to work with me, she worked from home. We had a more flexible schedule. She had a two-year-old and apparently, like, a really crazy boyfriend who was, like, on drugs. But I didn't know this. And um, so I wake up one morning, and it's a Saturday, and I'm about to get ready for a wedding. I open my computer, and all these picture notifications pop up. I'm like, what's this? Click, click, click. All these nude photos of her, her and the boy, like things that you don't ever want anybody to see. And like, why the hell you're taking pictures of that? I don't know. So I just shut it, and I text it. I'm like, hey, FYI, you're personal cell phone is being synced to our company Dropbox right now, so you might want to unsync that shit. 
and she texted back immediately. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to lose weight. So I've been taking nude photos, you know, and, uh, you were doing more than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I stopped clicking on the notifications and then it just kind of went downhill from there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the, especially if you have a company Dropbox and a personal Dropbox, like just don't do that. Don't do that. Well, I only, I mean, I only use thing. I only use Dropbox to, I mean, I don't file anything else. Um, like all my bills and stuff, like that's all filed through my bank online. Yeah. So for me, I don't really file other things. Now, if you're like my sister's kids and Girl Scouts and stuff like that, um, and again, this is just me, mm-hmm. I, I don't have anything to hide. Like my life is my, kind of my company. I don't have kids. I'm not married, you know, none of that, but I have a family. And so in my Dropbox, like I'll just make a family folder or a personal folder. And if my girls really have time to go in and look at that shit, I don't know why they would want to see it, but it's like, I don't have anything to hide. So, I mean, your Dropbox is your Dropbox until you share it, or if you have Dropbox business, and you can share and edit things, which you sh- what you share. Yeah, yeah, and so you should pay attention to that. Um, Amanda's the only person on our team that has my login, and she can see what I see. Mm-hmm. So, but there's certain like she doesn't even sync. Which the next thing is you pick what you want to sync. So right here where it says sync, selective sync, you want to choose your folders. And once you really get on this system, your machine's going to tell you it's full. And you're going to have to unsync some stuff. And it, it means it's still living in the cloud. You can go to Dropbox.com from anywhere in the world and still get access to it, but it doesn't need to live on your machine. So basically what your machine is doing when you download this little thing, it's taking a picture of everything you're doing live and then backing it up to the cloud. Um, and so, I mean, look at how many folders, you guys, I don't have checked, right? Right. Because I don't want to get rid of them. I do try to clean my Dropbox out at least every January, once a year. Or I'll offload this stuff onto a hard drive if it's not that important. Because if you drop a hard drive or it gets coffee or what, your shit's gone. So um, we've had some scary incidences with video people where I had an intern that was carrying a hard drive from one place to another just because I asked her to. Hey, run this hard drive. She dropped it. The footage was distorted. It was thousands of dollars to recover. And that was like at midnight after a wedding. You know, I mean, that was all their wedding footage. You can't get that stuff back. That's why you don't just hire one camera operator. Okay? I mean, look at how many folders. Like, literally. All folders in your Dropbox, but they're not synced. To my computer. To your computer. Correct. And they're all named. All of them. Vendors, website stuff, Wedding Plan University. So they're in Dropbox or they're... They're all in Dropbox. So I can go to dropbox.com and they're all there. And I and then if I wanted to sync something, like for instance with consulting and coaching, like when I'm done with somebody and they're good, uh, like with marketing stuff, I'll unsync it and uncheck it if I'm done. But then it's like a year later, they're like, hey, I need a facelift. Like, and sometimes I need to refer back to that. So I'll pull her folder back down on a Dropbox. But that's what selective sync means. So this sync right here, you got to, again, tell your computer, what do you want to see over here in your everyday folder? Which these are my everyday every week folders of things that I actively want because I'm constantly opening them. Now, this is just the computer. On the phone, there's no selective sync. Your All your folders are there. They're all in order. All your stuff is named. So, like, when I go to Dropbox right now, it's like I can scroll and see every everything. So, does that make sense? Same thing with the iPad. Mm-hmm. So... Any so questions? Is that taking up all this, like on your phone, as well, space wise? No, because it's just it's in the cloud, and I'm just, like right now, I'm looking at the presentation. It's living in the cloud, and I'm just pulling it down. And once I close it, it goes back up. So the ones that are not synced on your computer are in the cloud. In the cloud, but mm-hmm. you're not seeing them right here. Okay. Right. And again, all this is in the cloud too. It's just that I need access to these all the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm pulling them down. They're still saving and backing up. Those checked as syncing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Correct. Okay. The other thing with Dropbox, if you do editing, you do have to hit save. 
There's a couple things that um, I would never recommend for Dropbox. Like, it's like there are a few things where it's just much easier to just do it in, in Dropbox. Um, and then, so our our templates for, um, which I'll show you guys this, but we, we have an Excel-based template and a Word-based template. So in our Excel template, it's got the guest list, the RSVPs, the budget, the seating chart, like there's tabs for everything. And then we have this, the timeline template, which is about 13 pages of just an outline. And then once someone hires us, we, cu- we go in and customize everything, and then we share it with them. And that's all real-time updating. So they can see that. It's constantly being edited. And um, what I also love about it is if a mom goes in and accidentally deletes 400 addresses and then the bride emails you the next morning and and she's like, why would you delete? I'm like, why the hell would I delete your shit? Like, I need that. Mm -hmm. And so I go back. And Google tells you all real time the changes, and the mom had accidentally hit delete. And I can see whose computer, at what time, in what country. And then you can restore it very quickly. Where Dropbox is not, it's not as as user friendly as restoring things. Um, for example, the other day this happened to us. We shared a Dropbox with a client that had everything in it. Everything. I'm talking like. I don't know, 20 quotes, and he's not familiar. He's a very smart man. He's a physician. He's a father of the groom. He deletes it. And she's like, where's their folder? And, like, I went to Dropbox.com, and I went to deleted files, and I could quickly restore it. And then when I restored it, for some reason, it went to somebody else's folder. But you can see the pathway. And then, but that's only there for 30 days. And, like, if that event was in eight months and she hadn't said, like, where's the folder, it would have been gone. So that's the other thing. You have to educate people that you're sharing it with. If they delete things out of there... It deletes it out of yours, too. And you can set up those rights. You can say view only, edit, add. That's what I'm saying. When you go to set this stuff up, you got to know what you're doing. And so watch videos. I have a ton of videos, like, where I record my screen all on YouTube. And if I don't have a video, if I have someone from class, they're like, hey, I'm running into this. How do I do it? I record my screen and then put it on YouTube. So that's how I'm building, like, all these video libraries. Like, if you lose patience, like, ask me, please, because I promise you somewhere in my folders I've got a video on how to do it. Um, Like, this morning I was going over a new web page we launched last night, and there's a lot of stuff that was wrong. And I'm like, oh, I don't have time for this. So I went to my web guys folder, and then I quickly recorded my screen this morning. And see up here there's date modified, so I can click. I very quickly see today at 7.25 a.m., and here's my video. Um, You're you're not hearing the audio because of all the audio stuff around me right now. And then I just literally share the link. So I do two fingers. I hit copy Dropbox link, and I send them the link. I'm like, hey, here's the video. So another important thing about Dropbox, you cannot share a folder within a folder. So, like, you have your home folder... So, like, let's take a client, Jane. Jane's folder, I can share the whole folder with Jane and with vendors or whatnot. Now, there's things inside of Jane's folder. I'm going to show you guys real time. Okay. So, inside of this folder, there's things that I want to share, right? So, if I need to share something catering with somebody. So, you click on the file. You do two fingers. And then you hit copy Dropbox link. And then I could go over to an email, hit command new, I'm a shortcut queen, type who it's going to, command V, which is paste. And like that's just how to do it really quickly. You can email it from there, but that's a new feature. And like my brain, I don't know, this is just quicker for me. Like that's not important to retrain my brain for it. Um, there's all these updates. Like somebody in my class last time, they're like, oh, you can just email it straight from there. See right here? You can go down here and hit share and go to mail. And then it pop. Like for me, it's just too many steps, you know? So it's like if it takes two or three 
clicks, like I'm not going to do it. I, like I want what's fast. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into Dropbox. And if you're not using it, you're not ready for it yet, just like set up the basics. Get the folders set up. Get your naming system down pat. And if you need further help or run into trouble, ping me. Let me know. Um, any more stuff about Dropbox? And again, make sure you have the app. Anything that you set up on your computer on the back end, it's all going to pull down. So when a client's like, hey, Angela, um, can you look over this catering quote because my RSVPs went down 120 and like I just, what should I take off? Like, you know, so I'm on the go and I'm like, well, let me look real quick. Here's the quote. And so then I will do this and I'll, sometimes I'll open it um, in an app called GoodNotes, which now the, the updated feature, you don't have to do that. And now I can record my screen on here. You swipe up and then you can record right here. Three, two, one. And then I'll text the caterer or email the caterer. I'll be like, Hey, there's 150 here and 150 here. Like, let's change that 250 to this. And then down here in the notes, you've got like lemon water for a hundred. That's $200. Like screw the lemon water. We don't need that. Um, and then like, I'll swipe up, quit recording and then email screen recording, save to photos. And then I send it over. So it's like, I'm, I, I'm not like emailing, typing, like there's so many shortcuts and it changes constantly. That's why you've got to keep yourself updated. I'm teaching the basics, like just the basic stuff. And then like, I remember things. I'm like, oh, I should tell them this too. Um, but just get started with the simple stuff and then you can move up and like go into master classes and, you know, things like that. Um, any more questions about Dropbox? I had a company like literally having a nervous breakdown over it. Um, and they hired me to like set up all their Dropbox stuff and get all their stuff from paper onto Dropbox. And we got Dropbox business and it was an EO member. I, I'm, I'm like, listen, I can't make it do what you want. Like you can't share folders in a folder. Like you can't pay more. You can't like, it just doesn't do it. So I'm going to fix it the way that I think is most effective. And then when they come out with that upgrade one day, we will fix it again. You just, you know, have to stay abreast of like what's going on. The other thing on your phone too, that's super frustrating is like, it's opening the last things that I opened. And so I, again, I need to see all my files in order. So make sure that people are like, I can't find my stuff. I'm like, you got to click on files. You've got your photos. You've got your account. So just remember, if you can't find something or if it's not working, look at the settings, look at your account, you know, make sure that, it, that it's working right. Just take a few minutes and set it up. There's a ton of different apps out there, which I'll talk about about the one that I use, um, simple freeway, take a freaking picture mm -hmm. in good light, take a picture and then name the picture mm -hmm. and put it in your business folder in Dropbox. Okay. Okay. First way. Okay. Second way is I use genius scan. I think it's $2 and 99 cents. I paid for that app because it syncs with Dropbox so, and it's a little bit clearer. What's it called? Genius Scan. So you take a picture with Genius Scan. It's, again, a little bit more detailed. You name it. You tell it what Dropbox folder to go to, which would go into the business folder. Same thing. Um, if you use QuickBooks Online and you've got the app, QuickBooks can do that too. I mean, Expensify does it. There's, uh, somebody told me the other day, Amazon does it now. Again, freaking pick one path. Don't make this hard. Again, don't download apps, even if they're free, unless they sync and back up. If they don't back up with iTunes or iCloud or Google Drive, forget it. And I learned that the hard way. Quick recap on here. These are the, again, there's so much I could tell you guys about the Dropbox, but the key things are organize by file name, do it on the computer if you can. And hey, if you just, if you are on a random computer and you don't have a computer, go to the freaking library. Y'all, when I built my first business plan, we didn't have internet. 
I had a Juno email address. Y'all probably don't know what that is. And I did my shit at the library, okay? And I don't read books. I do audio. Anyway, that didn't exist either when I wrote a business plan. Um, And you, you can share with clients, share with vendors, share with team members. The other thing I will say about this to get your clients potty trained is when they email and say, hey, can you send me that quote? Hey, can you do this? Hey, can you do that? It takes seven times to get them acclimated. So when someone hires me, I take their phone and I'm like, I'm going to put three free apps on your phone and this is how you're going to access all your stuff. It might, it takes a few times, especially with the parents, only one time in all the years I've been doing this, did I have to print something. We did it the other day for an Indian client who purchased thousands of dollars, brand new MacBook Air, brand new phone, brand new iPad because I did her friend's wedding and she's like, she said you would not work with me unless they had all Apple products. And like, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, <laughs> not for clients. Like, if you're going to work with me, but not like my clients, like, that's amazing. But now you don't know how to use anything. Oh, and she's trying so hard, isn't she? Like, bless her heart. And the wedding's in like a month. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, okay, actually, we don't have time for all this right now. Like, I need you to write me a check because I need to pay people if you want them to show up at your wedding. So we will print this one time because you're trying. Like, she, I, anyway, I was super sad that she couldn't come to the class today. There's a language barrier. Mm-hmm. Um, she's been in India for two months with no internet access. Oh. You know, so when I can tell when right. it's like, you know, if you're a business <laughs> owner, I, yes. And like, she is trying, she's like, I, so, you know, sometimes you got to break your policy a little bit to service the client. Mm-hmm. And I've done so many of her friend's weddings and they've learned how to do all this, but they're also like, her friends are in the business world. There, a lot of them are in real estate and they own businesses. This family owns businesses, but the dad does it all. So you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Um, what are the three apps? Dropbox, Google Drive, and um, Sign Easy or Hello Sign or PDF or Good. You have to be able to sign your contracts with your finger. Say that again. Hello Sign. So yeah, and I've got it in here. We use Hello Sign. There's DocuSign. There's Easy Sign. DocuSign. Like we get a lot of real estate stuff. Yep. DocuSign. Everything. The real estate industry has actually been amazing at moving things over to paperless. Mm-hmm. But what I run into with real estate agents is no one teaches them how to set it up and organize it so it's a shit show mm. but it's easy to fix super easy to fix it takes some time but it's easy to fix um, you can still refer someone for free and get free space uh, preferences we talked about that in selective sync so those are the most important things so much for listening be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business and if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on connect with us on angelaprofit.com for more valuable resources again visit the website and until next time remember to stay productive and profitable you've been listening to weddings unveiled with angela profit join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive profitable wedding or event business for more great resources head over to angelaprofit.com.